Hey, the Ranker, coming back for another video. I just watched the episode 5 of Disventure Camp, and oh my god, is it amazing. You need to watch it. Anyway, here's just my speculation on how things are going to work out for the rest of the season. Say, so, hmm. These are the contestants that have been eliminated by the time of this video, which are Oliver, Carol, Kai, and Connor. Kai and Connor in a double elimination. Um, Maggie, and as of episode 5, Yule, who got literally poisoned and taken away, which was super nice. Let's go, James! Hoping he becomes the main antagonist now, honestly. But still looking forward to Jaden. So, who do I think is going to be in 8th place? And I do think that there's going to be an 8th place before the merge. And I think it's going to go to this team because that definitely makes the most sense. And I'm so sorry to say it. Now, sadly, I think that this would be Rosa Maria. And that's just because... Each of the remaining contestants from either team feels like they still have more to give. Rosa Maria, she might be one of my favorites, but I do think that she is a little bit dry. But in the humor compartment, she's all there. So, then after that, I think that we would have made the merge. And as the contestant, who I think is most likely to get out right over here... I am going to have to eliminate either Hunter, Tess, or Allie, because it feels like the love triangle is not going to make the top six, because then they could just easily eliminate everybody and win. So I think it would make the most sense for one person to be voted out here, and as of episode five, I have no idea who that would be. It's very difficult to tell, but with the way that things are going right now, I am going to say... Tess, and that is not because I dislike her. I think that her and Ellie are amazing contestants, but uh, three-on-three -three men versus um, women scenario in that next episode would, I think, make a little bit more sense. So, between everybody left, I do think that Tess makes the most sense. I know a lot of people are thinking that Rhea's going to go because she's kind of bland, but I think that Rhea's a great contestant who deserves to stick around, around a little bit longer. Really explore her character. I think that Lake has all that character exploration already. Yeah, so that, that just makes sense. Now, if we are going to get a male versus female group, I think that this makes sense. Although, we will probably have Tess at this point, or maybe Rosa Maria even. Now, um, I think that these matchups would make the most sense. Lake versus Aiden, Allie versus Hunter, Rhea versus James. And I tried having Rhea versus Aiden and Lake versus James, but it didn't feel correct. I don't know. So, I honestly think that I would give this to the guys, and I think that out of the girls, um, one of them has to go... And I'm just going to go ahead and say that it is Lake. Now, don't worry, Lake. You made a very good game. You made your parents proud. Oh, you, you didn't do that. Well, I'm so sorry for you, but you failed. Now, I must say at this point, I am a little conflicted on what would happen. But I think what would make the most sense is to eliminate Hunter, and I'm going to get into that in like half a second. But this would be my preferred Final Four, although it would have like maybe Tess or Lake. Um, Having one of those two here would help, but I think that this is the Final Four that would make the most sense. I would say in fourth place, it would probably be best to go Rhea, who played a very good game and got a ton of character development, and most likely not that episode, but the last episode. And I would say it would be a double elimination. And the next one to go would be James, so Jaden is not cancelled, because Jaden is the best thing in the universe. Anyway, we have Allie and Aiden as